What's up, guys? Kenyo here. I just left UIW, University of Incarnate Word. You can see that right there. Um, I'm waiting for my... Uh, that was 20 years ago. Now that you're grown and you've just begun to feel the off-balance weights of the world holding you out of place, I hate to say it, but you're late. I've been jaded long before Black Lives Matter. Waiting for my, my life. Uh, bus. I decided... You know, let's save the ten dollars, not take Uber to to the next location. And um, this is the bus stop, by the way. I wanted to shout that out for a quick second. That's that's the bus stop. It's not covered or anything. That's kind of some. Luckily, this is safe nearby. But Bia, 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 step your game up. It's not a bus stop. It's a sidewalk. Okay. You can put a street sign somewhere and call it a bus stop. It's disrespectful. Especially on days like when it's just, I meant disrespectful. On days like where it's hot like this, or if it was raining, don't, don't disrespect people. Like, Chess, any of you are Adam? Adam? No. Like, Chess, uh, it's in your name, Adam? Huh? Your name, Adam? No. Great, my last bus. Uh, I missed it because my the bus before that was late, so I'm walking. Ooh, let's do this. it's marginally better, you know what I mean? It's, it has a hood, at least, and you can sit and chill. It's like 30 minutes between buses. I went to Bill Miller's over there. There's a gas station there. So it's not like there's nothing to do. But, uh, this is wasted. This could have been a dope gas station. Rest stop. At least it'll give you some shade at like noon because it's super tiny. If the sun's at an angle, you're out of luck. No fans though, I think this should be fans. Lots of traffic. And breathing in, you know, secondhand smoke from cars. What's up, guys? I'm out here at bus stop number one. Um, to get from where I was going to where I am going, to where I, from where I was at to where I'm going. But uh, this is the bus stop. I mean, there's just a pole here on the ground. Bus comes in about 20 minutes. You can tell I'm a little jaded already. I mean, have a seat. You know, there's a seat on that side, which is cool. Or if they just had like an arrow that pointed to the next bus stop with seats, it's like one back or one ahead and I have time, then it would be dope to be able to do that. So it's kind of weird, but, um, this is my super dope uh, poet on the go entrepreneur video for you. You know, see, this is the bare minimum. I'm still sweating though. This is the bare minimum. I think bus stop should have bare minimum. Um, I almost want to say good job. Now look right across the street at the bus stop. What is that? Look at that. Look at that sorry bench over there. Yo, I'm just saying, someone had to sit there. I'm so perfectly healthy. You can't 
because even here in the shade, I'm still around like 80 degrees. Over there, I can imagine. What's up? I'm at this bus stop. Guys across the street are making all of the noise. You can see the buses here. That's me. I'm the reflection of the bus. Can you see yourself? <laughs> okay. I look super insane. Okay, everybody. It's fine. So we missed the competition. We're on our way to the Vega bus station. And we're going to Los Angeles. Um, it's not the worst bus stop, you know. I know I give Dia a lot of grief. Um, that's for a reason, but it's not for no reason. It's for a super reason. It's an upgrade bus that's not playing around with the uh, bus stop. It's an upgrade bus. Um, and I know that comes down to city officials, you know. Um, they can be the ones to communicate it, you know, figure out the plan and communicate it to their constituents. It's their job. That's what I think. So let's do it. But anyway, yeah. Um, I think it's going to be a good bus trip. I guess I'll see you later.